Hi friends, welcome to the Clapper Cottage. It's been a long time since I've posted a video, but if you're new here, welcome, I'm Gabby. Um, welcome to my home, welcome to my small business, my little shop. Um, I am horrible at going on YouTube and checking anything on there. So if I've missed your comment, I have not seen it, so I will catch up on that. But anyway, today we're gonna go through my next shop collection and it's going to be the um, French Country Kitchen collection. So let's get through that. lots of goodies to go through for the French Country Kitchen collection. Um, I love this. I think there's so many cool pieces coming. Lots of copper pieces, some terracotta colors, um, lots of blue and white pieces, um, and then some like country inspired pieces. Noodles is joining us. <laughs> okay, so let's start with like the terracotta copper pieces. The first one up is this German clay roaster. Um, it's a terracotta clay roaster made by Schlemmertopf. It's so big, so heavy, really nice quality. Um, used in the kitchen. Let me get a closer view there. But look at all the details on the top of it. It's so, so pretty. And then there's this rooster there. the bottom of it. I don't know if I have that upside down or not, but let me show you the inside. So it has been used before. I did clean it really well, but this piece, oh, this piece is so cool. Use it for all types of things in the kitchen. Next up is this little terracotta pot. It's got a lid. The inside is glazed. Um, which is really nice. So you could use it for lots of different things in the kitchen. Um, you could like use it to store your garlic. You could use it by the sink and put like, um, I don't know, like sponges in there that you don't want to see. Um, lots of good uses for it. And I just love the color of it. I love the grapevine details around. It's so pretty. And the top little handle is like this little vine too. I also think this would be pretty cool um, to put like a plant in if you wanted to use it as a planter, although it doesn't have a hole. Next up are the copper pieces that I have coming. Um, I have got two copper pots. This one is a smaller one a really pretty shined up copper color. It's got a nice black handle, a black knob and a black handle, and then it's got a little bit of brass here, which is really pretty. Um, now, I do wanna preface that I always test all of the vintage items that I have for lead um, because, and I've said this before in other videos, but a lot of times back then, lead was used in the manufacturing of some of these items, especially like copper teapots are really known for having lead in them. Um, so I did test this copper pot and the copper teapot that I'll share next. And both of them did test positive for, clay, for lead. So you would not want to use them in the kitchen for like boiling hot water or anything. You would just want to use them for like decorative purposes. Um, so if you have like a copper collection, this would be great for it. Um, you could, you know, take the lid off and use it as a planter. You could use it to like store things in the kitchen. Um, kind of like I was talking about that terracotta pot. You could like store I don't know, like rags or stuff, stuff in it, towels that you don't want to be seeing around. It's a bummer that that one tested positive because that would be such a cute piece. But if you can see back there, I've got all my copper pots. Now these are new, you know, new ones. We got these for our wedding. 
but I have all mine hanging there. So what you could also do is like drill a hole through here maybe if you if it's not fully metal in here. And then like hang this up with your other copper items for like a nice copper collection. Uh, but there's the inside of that one. And then the copper teapot, which is so stinking cute. Really beautiful. I love the shape of this one. Um, how it's like a thinner but like wider shape. Um, everything is in really good condition. And I also love how the spout and the handle here have like brass touches. Um, all the copper pieces I feel like have copper and brass touches in this collection. Um, and I cleaned it out really nice so that it's pretty, pretty good. Nice and clean in there. But again, this is one that you, it tested positive for lead. So you wouldn't want to be boiling water in this. Um, but like I styled it on my kitchen table with flowers in it. it makes a good vase. Um, I have a copper teapot that I made into a candle, which is another good option. Um, I also have some, you know, lying around just as decor. So that would be this kind of piece. And there's the bottom of it. This one is, I think it's the Copper Craft Guild, Massachusetts. And then this copper pot, oddly enough, did not test positive for lead. So, you know, I never really know if my strips are that reliable. Um, speaking of which, with the, um, with like the Stanleys um, and all the talk around those having um, lead in them, which is crazy. And I tested mine and it did come up with lead with the strips that I use for all this. But then I tested a random other insulated um, cup, like a coffee cup or um, just a random one that I got from Target. And it also came up positive. So I'm not sure how accurate these strips are. So you know what? Take everything, you know, with a grain of salt. Do use them how you'd like, but just know, you know, that that's, that it came up. <laughs> so like, I think it's odd that this one didn't, but like the other copper pieces did. Like this copper teapot back here did, and it's kind of like the same look and probably age. So I thought that was interesting. But anyway, this one is my favorite pot that I have ever found. Um, this one was hard to give up, but I've got so many pieces behind me and I just don't have room for it. So someone will be lucky enough to snag this on in my shop when I drop it. Um, it's got these like really pretty brass handle. So it's like really sturdy to carry. Um, it's got this beautiful blue and white knob that's got some crazing details. Um, and I just love all the like ribbed details on the lid and just how aged this piece is. Like all the character on it is so beautiful. There's the inside of it. I scrubbed this one out a lot because it did have some build up in there. So I guess this one you could use for its function. This is a pretty rare piece um, to find. It's a vintage copper and wood butter dish. I think it's probably like copper aluminum. There's the inside of it. It's got this darling wood knob on it. And there's the wood bottom that the butter would sit on. Um, this could be used for its function. So that's really nice. Such a cool piece. And then my last copper piece is this guy. Let me get it together. How beautiful is that? So it hangs kind of like this. On the top, there's two holes. So you could screw it into like a wall, into a piece of furniture and have um, it hanging. You could use these as planters. Um, they're so beautiful. They're um, a hammered copper. 
they got the authentication on the bottom, which is really cool. And I just love that it's a double planter. The only thing I wanted to note about this is there is somewhere, you know, inside where it's been used as a planter. And so there's somewhere. And then on this one, there's a little bit of discoloration on the back side of it. Again, probably just from being used as a planter, copper ages. That's a pretty unique find. I love that. Next section that we'll go through is the blue and white that's coming. Um, so many cool blue and white pieces. And I'm loving that combination of the blue and white and the copper tones. Um, they're really, really pretty. And that is, that's what made me think French country. Because when you think of like a French country kitchen, it's just a lot of blue and white copper together. So. All right, first up are these really cool utensils, like a salad, fork, and spoon. Um, they are plastic, the bottoms are plastic, but the tops are in pretty porcelain, um, ceramic maybe. They've got really cool crazing and this blue and white design made in Japan. Thought those were really unique. Then there's this blue and white ironstone teapot. Just how darling is this? I got this forever ago and I've held on to it because I love it so much, but I have too many teapots. It's time to let it go on to another home. Um, but I fell in love with this floral design and on the lid and then all the ribbing around it is just darling. Oh, this is, this is a really fun one. Really good condition. Um, and it is made in England, Johnson Bros Ironstone. And it's got its authentication on the bottom, which is really, really cool. Stamp. And then I've got three of these plates. Um, these are the the like blue onion plates, um, that collection is pretty popular. These are also ironstone made in England. Um, they're in really good condition. And so I have the attached with them plate hangers um, cause I used some of these in my kitchen. If you're over on my Instagram, you probably saw, I used three of these above my kitchen sink um, to have like a pretty blue and white display. So I thought that I would also put hangers with them. Um, so you could take them and use them as plate hangers too. All right, next up, I've got this beautiful blue and white plate. It is one of those plates where they have like the separations, which is really cool. I think this could be super cute to use for like a kid. Um, obviously not if they're throwing it off the table, but just because of the separation. I think that'd be so, so darling. Um, this is a vintage Moriyama dinner plate, likely from the 1940s when I was doing my research. I don't often find like dates and stuff, but this one was pretty popular. Made in Japan. Just love all the crazing and blue and white details. There are a couple chips on the back, but otherwise it's in really good condition. This would also make a beautiful um, wall plate to like hang as decor or to like prop up um, on one of those like, you know what I'm talking about? Can't think of the name, but like to prop up and display in like a cabinet or on your, um, like against the backsplash of your kitchen would be really pretty too. And I've got three of these little bowls. They're also um, made in England. They're trademarked. Here's the back of them. And these ones I thought were so cool because they're all unique. They have different kinds of like crazing, different kinds of discoloration. Just really beautiful pieces. Um, these would be so sweet. Me try and get them together. You could um, also put plate hangers on these and do like a, a like a display on the wall like that. 
or, and in the pictures on my website, you'll see I have a couple options of how I would use them. Um, I might put it on my kitchen sink with um, a dish scrubber. Let me grab it. Yeah, like a dish scrubber fits really nicely in there. And you've got a nice pretty antique piece to accent your cleaning supplies. Um, or you could use it by your sink to put like rings and jewelry in when you're washing dishes. Those are really cool. I'll sell them each separately. But those blue and white plates that I have the hangers on already, those are gonna be in a set together. Um, and then I've got two of these. These are also Ironstone made in England. These are Blue Nordic. They're also that onion pattern like the plates. And these I thought would also be really cool by the sink. You could also put your scrub brush in them. Fits really nicely. You could put multiple if you have multiple in them because these are bigger. Um, these also fit soap, like big soap. Um, blocks really nicely. Let me show you something like these big blocks. So you could use this in the kitchen for soap or like in the bathroom, wherever you need soap. So those are fun. All right, two more blue and white pieces. This quilted placemat. It's got the blue and white stripes on this side and all the stitching detail. And then on this side, it's just a plain blue, but you've got a little bit of the edge, which I think it's really cool that you could use it either way, depending on what you're wanting. This is my favorite way. And I love this so much. Um, had a hard time getting rid of that too. But um, I think this would make, since there's only one of them, I mean, you could use it as a placemat, but I think it would be really pretty just in the center of the table, um, like under a vase of flowers is how I styled it. Or you could use this on like your coffee table um, in the dining room, in the, in the dining room, in the living room and put like a plant on it or something. You could use it on like other tables. It's just a really good piece. Adds a little pop of color. The last piece is this vintage Goodwood serving tray. It's like a cheese board. The Goodwood is so nice quality such nice quality um it's teak genuine teak made in thailand and this one has the blue and white and like orangey plate it's floral and it's just so darling i think this would be adorable to like use as a tray with your kids um since it's a tiny little tray or just like to use on um your kitchen island like as a little accent. I styled mine with um, a candle on it. I think there's lots of good cute uses for it. If you do have a cloche though, a cloche could fit on here and then you could use it as like a cheese plate. Let me grab a cloche. Like this size one fits perfectly on there. Then you could use that for like dinner parties. All right, we're getting there. This is the last grouping. This is more of the like country, country cottage kind of group. Um, there's a couple of brown stoneware pieces. So I'll group those ones together. There's this brown stoneware vase, like a little pitcher. Um, I would use it as a vase. I think it's so cute. Um, this looks like this did break at some point and someone put it back together, but I just think that's so cool. Like tells its story. Um, this is also a brown stoneware piece. It's really cool. Very unique. Um, this, its intended purpose is for like a condiment set and I think it used to have lids on it with like spoons and stuff. Um, this one I just found as is, no lids and stuff with it, but I think this could still be used in so many different ways as like a unique accent in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Um, I styled it a couple different ways to show you some options. Um, the, the tiny little scrub brushes do fit in there, 
So you could fit like two scrub brushes in it and have it by the sink. You could have it somewhere else in your kitchen and put like um, matches in it. You could put like a striper on the bottom. Uh, you could also put um, toothpicks in it. Very useful to have those out. Or in like the bathroom, you could use it and put like Q-tips and like cotton balls in them. It would be a cute little accent for those things. Things that like have everyday function um, that you don't really want seeing out, but then you can display them in a pretty way, like with items like that. And then I've got these two, these other two brown stoneware pieces. Um, and I think these two go really nicely together because it's a creamer and a sugar dish. Um, this creamer is a really nice size. And it's really, really sturdy and nice quality. And then this sugar dish for all my gals that like to collect the brown stoneware. These would add, these would go nicely in your collections. Um, okay. These ginormous wooden salt and pepper shakers. I did test them out. They work nicely. Um, I cleaned them all out, made sure all the parts were working and everything. This one's the pepper one. I just love the huge size that they have. This one's a grinder. Uh, I did put some pepper in there and I ground it with it to make sure it worked. And it's, I just love the dark color of it and the wood. It's so beautiful. And this one's the salt. Um, one of them had just a couple. Oh yeah, you can barely see them. Just a couple like dents in them. But I think that adds so much to them. It gives them a lot of character. And there's this wooden rolling pin. This, this thing is solid solid wood. It looks very vintage to me. Um, wood rolling pin. It would be perfect to use as a rolling pin, um, but it would also be perfect for like rolling pin collections if you collect those. Um, this is a great addition. It's got lots of character on the pin. Art. And I just love that the handles are also solid wood too would roll really nice. Oh, this one is one of my favorite pieces. Such a unique one. Look at this. This cutting board is so beautiful. And someone, Freed is the last name, painted it with like a still life of like vegetables in a bowl with the bottle. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And the cutting board itself has a lot of character, lots of cracks and like discoloration. It just looks so beautiful. That was a fun find. Um, then I've got a bunch of these little wicker chargers. These have so many good uses. Um, I think I have six of them together. Um, and what I would do is either, so I, I had styled them on the kitchen table as their purpose, you know, having them under a plate, like as a placemat type thing. Um, but I also have used them as wall decor before. So like a little nail fits nicely through the wicker and then you can hang them up on your wall. I'll do like sets of three, kind of like I have my plates in the dining room. So that's a cool use for those. Then I've got this wicker utensil carrier. It's a vintage one and it's in great condition. I cleaned this nice and good for ya, um, but it's like perfect, like no chipping on it. Perfect condition. And there's the napkin part, the utensil part. This would be perfect to take um, on like picnics. This would also be perfect for summer coming up. 
um, when you're doing like outdoor parties and stuff, just to be able to grab this and bring it out with you. And then the very last piece, last piece is this black metal candelabra. It's got three spots for candles. Um, I love the design of it, the shape, and how um, each of these candle holders has like a little scalloped kind of detail there. It's really, really pretty. Would be perfect just for um, tablescape settings to use anywhere you want to have candles. So that is everything in the French Country Kitchen collection. Man, I always choose tongue tying um, collection names. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed all that. I hope you're excited about the collection. It will be dropping this week. Um, usually I do my drops on Fridays at 11 a.m., but my birthday's coming up, so Joel and I are doing some fun things this weekend for it. So I'm actually going to drop it Thursday night. So a little bit early, um, but you'll find all that information on my Instagram page at Clapper Cottage. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, hopefully I will start doing them again regularly. Um, at least for my collections, I do have some projects that I'm going to start working on in the house. Maybe I'll film some of that. Um, or if you have suggestions for me, things you'd like to see, um, like decorating tours, stuff like that. You know, you can always comment in the comment sections and let me know what you like to see. But thanks for being here. Like this video and subscribe for more.